everybody, so I am here with a special video for you. Um, usually every season I do like a favorite nail picks or like my favorite nail polishes for that season. And I was gonna do a favorite um, spring polishes, but I have been on this major, major kick of nude nail polish. Now a lot of the collections are coming out with a lot of nude colors and nudie pinks and things like that and I am just completely drawn to it and like sucked in and desperately want every single color. So I thought today I would share with you my favorite nude polishes and yeah I have a lot. I have like 10 maybe 12 so let's get started. Okay, so I swatched 10 of them on my nails. I have two extra that I want to note and kind of tell you about, but I only have 10 fingers, so I couldn't swatch those two. But I have swatched all of these. Um, the first one I have is by Julep, and this one is in Anne Marie. And it is more of a brown mauve nude, and this is what it is on the finger. Now, all of my fingers have one coat, no base coat, no top coat right now. So this is kind of what the polish looks like with one coat. And it's kind of like a brown, brownie, nudie color rather than, kind of has a little bit of rose in it as well. It's not completely brown, um, but my husband Jude calls this my old lady nail polish, so... Maybe it's old ladyish. I don't know, but I really love the formula on this. I think it's really, really nice. Again, this is only one coat. So two coats, you would be absolutely perfect with a base coat and a top coat. I love this one. It's a good one. Okay, I have a couple from OPI. This one, I have to say, oh, I don't want to say this one is my absolute favorite out of every single one, but I think it is. Like this one is one that I have repeatedly since I got it put on my fingernails like Every time I take a color off, I'm like, I really want to put you back on my nails. So, anyways, um, this is actually from the OPI Brazil collection, and it's Don't Bossa Nova Me Around. Around, yes. <laughs> but it is just a really, really milky, lilac-y, pinky nude color. And this is what it looks like on the nail, one coat. I think you definitely need two coats with this. It gets a little streaky with only one. Um, but it's so pretty. I think this is the perfect kind of springtime nude color. Um, it has like a little bit of that lilac in it, so it has a little bit, a bit of pastel to it. But I'm obsessed. I love this color. This is so unique. It's so different. I have nothing like this in my collection, and go run out and get it. It's awesome. Okay, the next one from OPI is My Vampire is Buff, and I think this was from last. I don't remember where it was from. It might have been last year's collection for the springtime. I'm not sure. Um, but it is just a really, really kind of bony cream color. And that is My Vampire is Buff. Like I said, it's kind of a nude, but it's kind of like more of a creamy white bone color. I just think of a bone. Like, bone just goes with this color. Um, Cause it's not so stark white, but it's not so creamy yellow. It has, I don't know, it's really awesome. I really love this nail polish. Um, as you can see, it's really opaque with one coat. I love this polish, it's so pretty. Um, and it's a good nude one, I love this one. Okay, let's move on to some Essie ones. The first one I have is actually from, I think their spring one. I don't know, one of their newer collections that they just came out with, and this one's in Romper Room. This one is definitely more of a milky pink color. It has a very, very strong pink to it, um, but I love this one, it's beautiful. I think it's so pretty on the nails, especially for the springtime. That is Romper Room right on the nail. It's super, super opaque. I love the color of this. It's like maybe a go-to for me. If I don't know what to wear and I don't wanna wear my don't bossa nova me i will put this one on i absolutely love it it's so pretty it's more of a pinky kind of color milky pink color but it definitely has a nudie kind of feel to it so i love this one the next one from essie is a oldie but a goodie this one is in topless and barefoot it is more kind of like a creamy i don't even know it has a beige undertone but it kind of has like a little bit of pinky peach to it so it gives it a little bit of color um i definitely think it needs two coats but the color is absolutely beautiful it's definitely a nude that doesn't wash your nails out it gives it a little bit something to it 
um, cause some of the really beigey ones can really wash your, um, hands out and make them look kind of dead you know, really pale and just kind of blend in. And you don't really want a blended in nail with your finger, if you know what I mean. But I really, really love this one. It's a, definitely a must have if you love nude polishes and it's a go-to. This next one is also a new one from Essie. This one is in Spin the Bottle and it's kind of a little similar to, um, barefoot and topless but this one definitely you can see more of the peachy pink in it um and then there it is on my nail I, oh gosh that's really hard to show um but I love this color as well again it doesn't really wash my nail out and make it look like my hand if you know what I mean but it's definitely a pretty nude that I think even like adding a little bit of glitter on top of is so pretty it's definitely comparable to topless and barefoot but this one has a little bit more beige when this one has a little bit more like peachy pinky to it all right, the next and last Essie polish is definitely an oldie but a goodie. This one is Saint Tropez, and it, this one definitely has a lot more beigey tan to it. Um, as you can see on the nail, it has more of a, I don't even know, cooler tone to it. It has a little bit, almost like an, I don't want to say greenish undertone or like an olivey undertone, but it definitely is more beige. Um, but I really, really like it. It's an awesome color. It's nice for spring and summer. Definitely summer, this one's gonna be a good one. So that one is Saint Tropez. Okay, the next couple are from Zoya. This first Zoya one I actually got in an Ipsy bag. Again, this one's more of like a kind of pink color, but I'm including it because I really, really love it and it's a good one for the springtime. This one is the color Adat. And like I said, it's kind of more a pastel-y pink color. It's really, really pretty on the nail. It gives, it kind of, every time I wear this color, it makes me look, my hands look really tan, which I like because I am very pale right now, although I've been self-tanning. And if you want a self-tanning video, thumbs up this video because I will definitely do one. I have been testing out some different products. So anyways, tangent, moving on. Um, but I really love the Zoya polish. I think it's really, really pretty. It's kind of like that milky pinky color. This one definitely has more pink in it than Romper Room. As you can see um, right there, this one is Romper Room. This one is Dot. This one's a lot more muted. This one's a lot more kind of like brighter pink. So I love them both. They're really, really good ones. All right, this next one is in Farah, and I don't know if they still have this one anymore. I got this one so long ago, but I really, really like it, and it's very, very comparable to Saint Tropez. Again, it has that really, really beigey tan undertone. Um, there it is on the nail. I really love the formula of this one. This one glides on really, really nicely. It doesn't get streaky at all. It coats the nail really, really well. Um, and I really like it. And this is, sorry, like, ooh. Um, this one is Saint Tropez and this one is the Pharaoh one. So those are them kind of side by side. As you can tell, they're a little bit different, but they're pretty similar. All right, and the last one from Zoya is actually from their new nude line that they came out with for um, the springtime. And this one is in Rue. And it's a very, very unique one. Again, it has a bit of purple to it, but it has like a bit of like purple, pinky, beige kind of all mixed together. There's really no strong color that really like shouts out to me. Um, but there it is on the nail. It's beautiful. This one, um, I definitely think you also need two coats with it, um, but it's really pretty. It's very, very unique nude polish, so I love this one. It's a good one. Okay, and two honorable mentions that I didn't have room to put on my nails because I only have 10 fingers. Um, they are both from OPI. This first one is an oldie, 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 but goodie, and I've had this in polish for so long. It is Samoan Sand, and again, it kind of has a peachy kind of feel to it. This one reminds me a lot of Topless and Barefoot. The only problem with this one is definitely sheer. Topless and Barefoot has a lot more opacity to it, so it glides on a lot smoother, and it just, with two coats, it's fine. This one I can almost do three coats with because it's so sheer um, but it's still a really pretty nude color and I love OPI polishes they're just probably my favorite um, and then the next one definitely has more of that 
pinkiness to it, but I have to mention it because it's such a great polish. This one is in Sweetheart, which is also an oldie but a goodie. Um, it's just kind of like a milky, pinky color. It reminds me a lot of Romper Room from Essie. Um, it's very, very, very similar. Um, but again, this one is so opaque. Literally no streaks when you put it on. One to two top coats and you are good. Or one to two coats, not top coats. One to two coats and you are good to go with this one. So this one's a really, really good one as well. Okay, and quickly before I go, I am going to share with you just a couple nail products that I've been loving um, to use as base coats and top coats. I don't mention these very often, but something that makes my nails literally, it's the only thing that gives my nails strength. It's the most amazing base coat to any kind of nail polish is the Nail Teaks for Formula 2 Protein. Um, this stuff is life-changing. Now, I only get the little tube because, one, it's pricey. It definitely, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. And two, I don't, I go through it fast, but by the time I use the big one, about halfway down, it just kind of gets really, really goopy and kind of dried out a little bit. So I always just buy the little ones and just keep repurchasing these just because I can actually go through the entire thing without it gooping up real quick. So I love, seriously, this stuff is life changing. If you have any kind of brittleness, peeling, chipping, nastiness to your nails, this will change your nails. I am telling you, it is the best stuff out there, there is nothing like it. It is absolutely life-changing, life-changing stuff. But I actually use this as a base coat every time I paint my nails. It's just what I do because it helps build strength in my nails and keep them really, really, really nice. So I love this stuff. Highly, highly suggest. Okay, and a couple top coats I just want to quickly mention. Um, I actually mentioned this one in my March favorites. I have uh, I think it's the best top coat there is. Oh my gosh, it's amazing and it's so cheap at the drugstore. It is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. This stuff is awesome. It makes your nails look so, so glossy. It dries in like two seconds. Um, I love it. It's just so, so awesome. I think this is like my new favorite top coat. Another top coat that I absolutely love, um, but it's a little harder to get and it's a little more pricey. Um, this one is the Julep Freedom Polymer Top Coat. Um, this one is definitely a bit thicker, but this stuff will make your nails last weeks. It literally is like putting a gel coat on your nails. It's awesome, it's amazing. It takes a little bit longer for this one to dry on my nails, so if I'm wanting my nail polish to really, really last a long time, I will go with this one. But if I'm just wanting a quick dry and to move on and <laughs> go along my day, I will use this one. So these are amazing top coats and I highly suggest them. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my nude nail polish picks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And and leave any comments down below. If you have any nude nail polishes that you have absolutely been loving that I didn't mention, definitely mention them down below. I'm obsessed with nude nail polish lately. I just cannot get enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!